Welcome to an online content webcast for kindergarten that is intended to provide teachers and those who support them in the classroom with background information as a foundation on the intended standards being addressed specifically in this presentation. This webcast will focus on several kindergarten standards beginning with two of the fall holidays, specifically Labor Day and Veterans Day. Notice the verbs identify and describe in this standard. Teachers will be able to observe students' understanding of these standards as they are encouraged to orally communicate as they analyze and investigate the use of primary source images from the time period that each holiday was established. Identify these two national holidays and describing the people and or events surrounding them also ties in nicely with geographic understandings by explaining the customs and celebrations of families and communities on these holidays. This standard relates to the culture of groups of people and in showing students how people think and feel about the importance of these holidays. You'll also want to discuss how a group of people act and celebrate these national holidays in our country. This provides students with an example of how we are a special group in our country and in our local communities. Teachers will need to continue to discuss and model for students throughout this study how the specific holidays are celebrated as a special event on the designated days in September and again in November with Veterans Day. A learning target for students in this standard is, I can tell about Labor Day. This holiday is celebrated every year on the first Monday in September in the United States of America. Some background information about this holiday is that Peter J. McGuire was a carpenter and labor union leader and he was the person who came up with the idea for Labor Day. He thought American workers should be honored with their own holiday and he shared his idea at the New York Central Labor Union in 1882. The holiday was established to honor American workers as a way to balance the hours of work, rest, and play. Eight hours of work in a five-day work week, play on Saturday, and rest on Sunday. The labor union thought the holiday was a good idea too and decided to make the celebration at a time in the year when there were few holidays already established. With four long months between Independence Day on July 4th and Thanksgiving Day, the fourth Thursday in November, Peter suggested a month halfway in between. The President of the United States, President Grover Cleveland at the time, approved the legislation and signed the bill in 1894 to make this a national holiday in the United States. It was decided that it would be observed every year on the first Monday in September. The photo on the left shows a Labor Day parade in Buffalo, New York in 1900, after the holiday had already been established as a national holiday. The photo, photo on the right shows minors with their children at a Labor Day celebration in Silverton, Colorado in 1940. Teachers can refer to the culture of these groups of people and how they are celebrating, how they are acting, and what they may be thinking about in these photographs. Teachers may also refer to how things change over time while others stay the same. For example, the photos of Labor Day in the early 1800s compared to Labor Day celebration in current times should be discussed with students. Later in the webcast, there will be current day photographs of celebrations and the Labor Day events so comparisons may be made with students using vocabulary of the standards such as now and long ago to make connections to how things change and how other things stay the same. This also reinforces for young learners a historical understanding by comparing life in the past to life today and encourages discussion about possible ideas and questions about how these events and holidays have developed over time. Teachers will be able to integrate the terms in this standard as well as the images of Labor Day are shared and discussed with students. Young learners will be able to tell about the changes that have taken place over time when comparing these photographs of long ago and now, or using the terms of the past, present, and future celebrations of the holidays. The economic standard listed in this slide relates well to Labor Day by guiding young learners in kindergarten to make connections to the work that people do to earn income. It can also tie into a culture of what makes a group of people special by the work that they do. Does a police officer do the same work that a farmer does? Does a teacher do the same work as a firefighter? Be sure to include jobs in the work people do in the area where you live in the state to make the connection specific for students to relate to their family members and the places that they see in their community. These photos are from book covers that may be a part of the classroom library or available as an ebook in your district. 
Again, you, may, you can make the jobs or careers specific to your area based on location. What industries are local in your community? Are there military bases, factories, farming, fishing, livestock ranches, or agriculture that is specific to your area, such as cotton, tobacco, pecan, and peach orchards? Students' learning target for the standard is to tell about the work people do, and these books or book cover images open up that opportunity for discussion. All people play important roles in our communities. How is the work these people do alike, and how is it different? Where would these workers do their jobs? What work does your mom or dad do? What work do you see others doing when you're out in the community? Refer back to the standard in conversations. I can tell about a park ranger. He or she works to keep our parks clean and safe. You can also chart student responses or have them write or label and illustrate work that family members do. Photos can be brought in for a showcase board and labeled with specific work that people are doing. This slide shows examples that teachers may use in classrooms as a reference throughout the unit. Students may refer to these in partner talk, writing, reading, so forth. Again, making these specific to your location in the state helps students to make connections in their community, but also exposes them to other jobs and work in different locations. Students may have conversations about the work their mom and dad do to be paid and to earn income. Class discussions can encourage students to ask and answer questions such as, can you earn money as a child? What do you no do now at home to earn money? Ask students, what would you like to do when you grow up to earn money? Have them draw and label the type of work they are interested in doing or that their family members do. This sets a foundation for career lessons and social studies throughout the year. One of the main reasons Labor Day was established as a national holiday in 1894 was to ensure workers had a balance of eight hours of work, eight hours of play, and eight hours of rest each week, originating from the workers' union movement in 1882. These photos are examples of ways families rest and have fun on the off work hours in the present and may be compared to those photos of long ago in the past. In guiding students to meet the I can statement for this standard, teachers may want to discuss with students, what do you do with your family to celebrate Labor Day for fun? Another standard that will tie in with this holiday is in the domain of civics and government where students will describe the positive character traits of good citizens as showing patriotism, courtesy, and pride in their country celebrations. Notice the vocabulary of the verb describe. So in teaching this standard, be sure to model discussions for students in order to provide examples of positive character traits throughout the holiday study. These photos show an examples of things families do on the holiday of Labor Day and Veterans Day. Many communities hold parades and honor veterans. The character traits of courtesy, respect for others, pride, and patriotism can be discussed using these photos. Modeling for students and describing what they see in the photographs by asking, what do you notice? How does your family celebrate? What are these families doing to celebrate? How is this group of people showing respect and being courteous? This reinforces the connecting theme in our culture of belonging to a special group of people and one way we celebrate as a group is by being together on each of these holidays. We hold Labor Day celebrations with family and in our community. We have Veterans Day parades to say thank you to our service members. We show courtesy and respect for others when we are at family gatherings and parades. We show patriotism for our country and celebrate the work people do in our communities. Another holiday coming early in the school year is Veterans Day. Some of these same photos may be used for this standard of civic and government by showing how families celebrate, showing pride, courtesy, and patriotism. Notice again the verb in the standard, identify and describe. Be sure to encourage students in conversations about the holiday and listen in for how they are describing the events and or the people in the photographs or how they describe their celebrations with families. The standard also relates to the culture of people, groups of people, and is showing students how people think and feel about the importance of this holiday. Teachers will need to continue to discuss and model for students throughout this study how the specific holidays are celebrated as a special event on the designated day in November for Veterans Day 
and encourage students to make connections to their daily lives by describing how they are a part of this special group with their family and their community. A learning target for students in this standard is to be able to tell about Veterans Day. Photos in this slide support students as they learn about the story of why we celebrate this event and these people in America. Veterans are people who have served or are currently serving in the U.S. military, whether it be Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, or the Coast Guard. On June 28, 1919, World War I had officially ended with the Treaty of Versailles in the Peace of Palace of Versailles in France. However, the fighting continued for an additional seven months and finally ended with an armistice or a peace agreement between the Allied nations and Germany on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, or November 11th. The day was commemorated the following year on November 11th as Armistice Day and was intended to just dedicate the day to remind nations to seek peaceful relationships between one another in hopes that we will never again be divided. President Woodrow Wilson asked Americans to have a moment of silence in honor of those serving in the military and to publicly thank them, but instead of only this action, people in cities and towns across the country held parades and a tradition began to honor those who have served or are currently serving in the military. Teachers may lead students in a, in a discussion asking if they know of any veterans. How do we thank our veterans in our community? How do we thank veterans at school? Teachers may also invite a veteran in to speak to the class as a way to honor a veteran. Looking at this standard again, be sure that students are engaged in conversations to encourage them to describe the character traits of good citizens and make connections from Labor Day celebrations to that of Veterans Day. Good citizens show patriotism by respecting the flag of the United States. Most schools begin the day with the Pledge of Allegiance and National Anthem. Teachers model how to pledge the flag and show respect and pride in our country by saluting and pledging. Students use self-control by showing respect and saluting and saying the pledge. This holiday is celebrated as a patriotic holiday to honor veterans in the military now and in the past. Also be sure to allow for and be aware of any cultural diversity and differences in beliefs in your building as some families or students may not believe in saying the Pledge of Allegiance or in singing the national anthem. Many communities also hold parades for citizens to show respect and thankfulness for their service of veterans. This photo of Pre President Barack Obama shows how he participated in a full honor wreath laying cere ceremony at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier at Arlington National Cemetery to commemorate Veterans Day, November 11, 2015 in Arlington, Virginia. Veterans Day celebrations include parades and speech speeches held in towns and cities throughout the United States. The focal point for national holidays and national ceremonies, however, continues to be at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in Arlington National Cemetery. Every year, special services begin at 11 a.m. with two minutes of silence. After the playing of taps, the president places a wreath at the tomb. A color guard procession and several speeches, one of them usually by the president, follow it. This is an event is an example of how the culture of our country and citizens are showing respect, pride, and patriotism for those serving it. Thank you for viewing the online content webcast for kindergarten. The webcast is intended to provide kindergarten teachers and those who support them in the classroom with background information as a foundation on the intended standards being addressed specifically in this presentation. Be sure to look for other webcasts specific to additional GSE standards.